Welcome back to the MedLife. So today we're going to be talking about the skull and skull. So let's start. So the skull is the bony skeleton of the head. This is the skull here in this picture. This is the skull. So its functions are here. It provides protection to the brain. Brain is an organ that is uh, located cranially in the body. It's superiorly and cranially in the body, just below the skull. So one of the functions of this bony skull is to provide protection to our brains. It also provides cavities for accommodation of organs of special senses, such as sight, hearing, equilibrium, smell, and taste. So it provides um, accommodation for organs like ear, tongue, eye, so, and also nose, so for smelling, tasting, uh, for seeing or sighting, and also hearing. So it provides cavities for them. It also provides opening for passage of food and air. So for passage of food, we have the oral cavity or the mouth. So it, this is an opening for the food to pass and through pharynx and the nasal cavity for the air to pass or the nose. So the skull is divided into two major parts, the neurocranium and the, and the viscerocranium. So the neurocranium is the upper part of the skull. These ones in color that you can see, the neurocranium. And the viscerocranium is down here, inferior. So if we go to the neurocranium, these are the bones that we have. Uh, there's a mnemonic, pest off. So we have the parietal bone, ethmoid bone, uh, sphenoid bone, temporal bone, occipital bone, and frontal bone. The frontal bone is this bone, uh, the bone of your forehead, because it's located frontally in front of the head. It's called the frontal bone. And then we have the two parietal bones, one on the right side and one on the left side. So remember, the parietal bones and the temporal bones are paired. They have one on the right side and one on the left side. So then you have uh, the ethmoid bone, ethmoid right over here. And um, we have the temporal bone, we have the sphenoid bone. And then at the back of our head, we have the occipital bone. And the viscerocranium houses the face, as I said earlier, the face and this bone right over here, the jaw bone or the mandible. In this one, we have 14 facial bones. We have the mandible, maxilla, inferior nasal uh, conchae, and we have the vomer, the gomatic bone, we have the palatine bone, we have the lacrimal bone, uh, lacrimal, also we have the lacrimal duct, which we'll go to that later on, and we have the nasal bones. So these are the bones of the, the visceral cranium. And then uh, if you look at uh, the skull superiorly, so this is uh, the skull is cut. So if this is the inferior part of the skull, if you look at it superiorly, we can divide this into uh, three cranial fossa. So uh, we're coming from anterior, this is the anterior aspect, to the posterior aspect. So this is the frontal bone and then at the back, the posterior aspect, we have the occipital bone. So we have three cranial foci. So this one in blue is the anterior cranial fossa. The one green in the middle, this green, is the middle cranial fossa. The one posteriorly with this big hole, which is a foramen magnum, is the posterior cranial fossa anterior, middle, and posterior cranial fossa. In each of them, each of those fossae, and at the base of skull, we have some foramina. Foramina are small um, uh, structures that kind of small holes that uh, some, some structure pass through them. 
So like we have the uh, cerebriform plate, which uh, we have the olfactory nerve passing from there. We have the optical canal, uh, which the optic nerve is passing from there. And superior or orbital fissure, which we have oculomotor nerve, cochlear nerve, ophthalmic nerve, and abducens nerve passing from the superior orbital fissure. And uh, for a rotundum, which has the maxillary nerve passing from it. And then for Aminovale, which we have the mandibular nerve. Uh, in fact, for, for Aminovale, we also have some other structures that are not mentioned here. And a mnemonic for that is male, the male gender, M-A-L-E. So we have the mandibular nerve and some other structures that we'll go to them later on. So we have internal acoustic meters here. We have facial nerve and vestibulo cochlear nerve. We have the jugular foramen, which we have uh, glossopharyngeal nerve, vagus nerve, and accessory nerve passing through that. And we have the hypoglossal canal, in which we have hypoglossal nerve, cranial nerve number 12. So these are the foramen of the skull, uh, of the skull and you need to remember the structures passing through it. Now let's go to the scalp. So the scalp is the superior part or the most external part of the skull. It's a covering of the skull. So the scalp has five major layers. So in this picture, yeah, you can see them. So as the, the mnemonic is the scalp itself, S-C-A-L-P, scalp. So the S stands for the skin. Here we have the skin. In the skin, we have some sebaceous glands as the normal uh, histology of the skin. We have uh, keratin and uh, squamous cells and we have hair follicles. So this is the most superficial layer of the scalp skin. Then we have the connective tissue. So the connective tissue uh, is the one uh, in the second layer and it has some emissary veins uh, that connects the superficial to the deep veins. And then we have the uh, aponeurosis uh, below the connective tissue. Then we have with the L, we have loose areolar tissue. And then with the P, we have periosteum. So these are the five major layers of the skull, skin, connective tissue, aponeurosis, loose areolar tissue, and we have the periosteum. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.